Rainbow Bird, a Latin American Indian folk tale. Long, long ago, long before man or even the animals walked the earth, the world was ruled by our feathered friends, the birds. At that time, all of the birds lived in one huge forest. There were many varieties of birds and they all lived peacefully together. However, if you and I were around at that time, we would have had a hard time recognizing and identifying any of them. You see, in those days, none of the birds sported any of the bright and beautiful colors that make them so distinctive today. They all wore shades of brown and gray and did little to brighten the forest. In fact, if it wasn't for the flowers that bloomed in all their splendid colors, the forest would have been a very dull place indeed. Some of the birds tried their best to brighten up their looks and add a little color to their lives. There, that should do it. tried everything they could think of to give themselves color. They tried to dye themselves with berries. They tried to rub in the green of leaves. But nothing would last. And finally they began to believe that once a gray bird, always a gray bird. It just seemed a shame that with all the beautiful colors of nature, the bird was blessed with only gray and brown. Every time the bird saw a pink butterfly or a golden orange, it only made them sadder. They couldn't understand why they had been so unlucky. Every day in the late afternoon, dark clouds would cover their tropical rainforest, bringing rain and thunder to the bird's home. But it wouldn't last long, and when the clouds would disappear, a marvelous rainbow would appear. The birds of the forest waited eagerly each day to catch a glimpse of the rainbow. The butterflies and flowers were beautiful in their own ways, but nothing in nature could match the radiant beauty of the rainbow. To the birds, the rainbow was their own special treasure. And every time it appeared, they wished with all their might, someday they too would be able to share some of nature's wonderful colors. But then, one day, when the clouds parted, the rainbow appeared as always, yet something seemed very wrong. Huh? Did you see that? <laughs> it was just as though the rainbow had somehow gotten dirty. Its beautiful colors were now dark and drab. The birds of the forest could not believe their eyes. They had so looked forward to seeing the rainbow after the rain. What would happen now? I wonder what could have happened to it. I wonder if it's got a cold or something. Don't be silly. Who ever heard of a rainbow catching a cold? Well, you know, you never can tell. Birds sat watching and hoping that whatever was taking away the rainbow's color would disappear. But if anything, it seemed to be getting worse. Until, all of a sudden, mysterious holes began to appear all over the rainbow. Oh my goodness! The birds were heartbroken. What was happening to their treasured rainbow? Suddenly, a brilliant light appeared overhead. There, above the forest, flew a magnificent, multicolored, magic bird. It was a phoenix. The phoenix is a legendary bird of tremendous and mysterious powers, known to people all over the world. It lived in the heavens and had now come down to address its worldly cousins. My friends, one of my heavenly duties is to protect the rainbow. I have come to ask your help. Oh, wow. 
Our rainbow has been attacked by an army of roaches. I tried my best, but there are far too many of them for me to handle alone. If we don't act quickly, I am afraid they will not stop until they have eaten every last bit of our rainbow. What do you say? Will you help? It's our only chance to save the rainbow. <coughs> eager to help. I just don't think it's any of our business. We should stay out of other people's business. Sure, I don't know how strong those bugs are, but I would get tired of that rainbow anyway. The phoenix was very disappointed to hear such talk. But there was no time to lose. So he flew off, leading those birds that did care. Higher and higher they flew as they readied themselves to win back their beloved rainbow from the wicked roaches. But as they drew nearer, they began to fear they were already too late. The rainbow was full of holes and the roaches showed no signs of stopping. Oh dear! Look at those horrible roaches. outnumbered, but the courageous birds fought valiantly. The battle went on and on, and eventually both roaches and birds began to drop from exhaustion. would not give up and finally they had fought their way to the rainbow itself where a few roaches still ate on. At last the battle was over and the birds had won. Overjoyed at their victory, and then, before their very eyes, the rainbow renewed itself and shone as brightly as ever. In fact, to the birds, it seemed even more wondrous than before. Let's go! Let's go! All the birds flew as one up to the rainbow, and as they did, a magical thing happened. As each bird passed through the rainbow, its feathers were changed into one of the rainbow's many wondrous colors. As your reward from this day forth, you shall all be birds of the rainbow. The rainbow birds couldn't have been happier. For years they had wished and waited for this day. And now their dream had come true. But remember, not all of the birds went to help the phoenix defend his rainbow. Those that stayed behind through laziness or selfishness were still very plain and common. 
So you can imagine their surprise and shame when the others return from the rainbow in all their splendid colors and designs. They had learned their lesson to help a friend in need. But it was too late. If they had gone to help, they could have returned from the rainbow just as colorful and handsome as the others. And that is why to this day you can find both birds of many sparkling colors and those who are still very drab and very plain. So the next time you look outside, why don't you try to find those birds that look to the rainbow? <laughs> <laughs>